today I uh, was just hanging out in my room after class. I was like, hmm, kind of feel like filming a video. There was one, one video that I think we're all very familiar with, which is, you know, books I'm ashamed I haven't read yet. And uh, boy, can I add a lot to that discussion. I can't even tell you how many books I'm ashamed I haven't read. We're gonna talk about some of those today. But not all of them. This might have to be a series because there are so many books I'm so ashamed I haven't read yet. So without further ado, let's just jump into this horrific list. It's, it's very long. It's a long list of books. First up on this lovely list of shame is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This is a heavy book. I'm realizing this. Oh my god. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Passenger. It's kind of a popular book and I have wanted to read it since it came out and I like keep on forgetting that it exists. I love Alexandra Bracken. I follow her on like everything and yet when it comes to her books I'm the worst at reading them and I don't know why. All of her books. I haven't finished the Darkest Minds trilogy. I haven't started Prosperetti and I just, I'm just, <laughs> Alex, I'm so sorry, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. But this is my number one that I'm just very ashamed that I haven't read yet. Although I'm, I'm pretty upset that I haven't finished The Darkest Minds because that's, that's just kind of pathetic. <laughs> If you haven't heard about Passenger, from my limited knowledge, it's basically about a girl named Etta who is a time traveler, but I don't think that she knows that she's a time traveler. I know there's time travel, so <laughs> it sounds so cool and it's been out for, I don't know, like two, three years now, right? I don't know. And I did the same, I don't know why I haven't read it, but I need to. I don't know when. There's so many books I need to consume. <laughs> oh, next up. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I hate myself for not reading this. I don't know what this has been. I mean, you can tell by like the discoloration. Oh, you can't when I'm, but like, you see how yellow those pages are? This has been on my shelf for years. I think since it came out in 2013 and it's just sat there and I look at it all the time and I'm like, I need to read that book. And it just never happens. I don't know why. I've never written fan fiction before, and I know that that's a big uh, aspect of this book, but I know plenty about being a fangirl, so I, I can't believe that I haven't read this. I just, I mean, I guess that's pretty much the basis for this entire video is just like, what, how, Katie, what is the matter with you? If you don't know what fangirl is about, from my knowledge, it's about a girl named Kath who uh, starts college and she loves writing fan fiction and like one of her stories is like the number one thing on a site and then like the real life comes in and <laughs> clearly if you wanted a summary of this book you shouldn't have come to me because I, I just can't. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that one. I've heard great things and I'm ashamed. Oh, okay, this next one. Mm -hmm. I'm almost afraid to share it because, oh god, I feel like I'm gonna get kicked out of the community! Are you all ready for my ultimate shame? Yes. Harry Potter. I haven't finished the Harry Potter series. Um, <laughs> now, I'm holding up book four, Goblet of Fire, because I've read the first, second, and third book. So, I'm... I'm on my way. I've seen all the Harry Potter movies, so I don't know if that wins me points or makes me lose a lot more points. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I've disappointed any of you. If I, 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 I know I've disappointed my sister greatly. She's been trying to get me to read Harry Potter for like a decade plus now, and um, still hasn't happened. I don't think I need to give an overview of what this book is about. It's just, I'm sorry. Oh boy, all right. Now that that trauma's over with. Next book, Cinder by Marissa Meyer. If you don't know, Cinder is basically a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella and the whole Lunar Chronicles series are like retellings, but in the future, I think. I don't, I feel like I shouldn't have set off to give overviews of these books when I know nothing. I never know anything. I know Cinder's an android and I've read the first like 30 pages like so many times of this book 
and every time I give up, and I don't know why, because I'm really interested, but I'm just like, eh, I'll get to it later, and then I never do. I, I own all of the Lunar Chronicles, and I haven't gotten past, like, chapter one of the first book, so I don't know what's wrong with me. But, yeah, Cinder, I'm sorry. I'll get to you eventually. You're very pretty, and I know people love you. Um, one day. One day. Alright, this one. I wonder if anyone who's seen my TBR videos can guess what this one's going to be. Oh boy. Yeah, and I darken. This book is like my greatest just personal shame because I've set out to read it publicly now twice and I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it this month and I hate every- I hate my life. Like why can I not finish this goddamn book? It's driving me crazy. I am farther than page 12. I'm now like 60 something pages in, I think. The thing is, I have it on my TBR, which is taking up all of my time. Like, any chance that I have to read for personal pleasure, God, I, I don't know why that makes me so uncomfortable, but it does. Whenever I get to read for pleasure, I read it. And I get so into it and so terrified that then I'm like, oh, historical fiction, I can't, I don't have time for you. So, and I darken, I'm so ashamed that I think again, this is gonna be a failure. I guess we'll have to see for my October wrap up what actually happens with this lovely lady, but um, it's not looking good right now. Oh, and if you don't know what And I Darken is about, it's historical fiction, it's all about Vlad the Impaler, but if Vlad was a woman, Lada, and um, it's really, it's really interesting. Kirsten White, I, I'm so sorry. Okay, moving on. This is another book um, from my October TBR that's just not looking good, but the shame, oh, the shame that I had, I didn't read this in September. It's just like, I'm, mm. Tower of Dawn, Sarah J. Mass. I, I have followed the Throne of Glass series since Throne of Glass was published. And yet, I'm so behind with this one, and I don't know why I don't have, like, a drive to read it. Usually I'm like, oh my god, New Throne of Glass, I have to read it immediately! And right now I'm like, mm. I'm upset with myself that I haven't even read one page of this yet. Well, let's read one page now. Let's see. Ooh, the Southern Continent. Oh my god, I haven't even looked at the map yet. Part 1, The God City. Chapter 1. Kale Westfall. That's all I'm gonna read, because if you ever read Throne of Glass, I don't want to spoil you. So. Um, yeah, shame, shame, shame. This next one is another fantasy that has been out for forever, and I literally bought it, I think, like, the week that it came out. I was at Barnes & Noble, just like, oh, new releases, this looks cool, and I still haven't read it. <laughs> I don't know why. Again, like, with Alex Bracken, I follow this author on everything, and I haven't read any of her books. What is the matter with me? This, this is a common theme, actually, with a lot of the people on this list, which you'll see. Anyway, Red Queen, Victoria Aveyard. Again, you can see the, like, the discoloration of the pages because it's just, yeah, it's, it's a stale book right now. I know everyone lost their minds over this, and I was like, oh, I want to read it, and I have it, and I haven't read it yet. I've heard that it's kind of like it follows a lot of cliches and stuff, but people still really enjoy it, so <laughs> I need to read it. Red Queen is basically about a world where people are divided between red-blooded and silver-blooded, I believe. And like the silver-blooded have powers, and this one girl, Mare, is a red-blood, but it turns out that she has powers, so then it's like this whole thing of like, oh my god, like, what are we gonna do? Like, this red-blooded peasant has silver-blood powers? What does this mean? Is that what this is about? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's about, so. Also, like, iconic cover. Like, come on. Shame. Again. Just, all. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Okay. This is another one that just kind of makes me want to scream. <laughs> I haven't read this. I'm so far behind in this world. It just makes me want to cry because these books meant the world to me when I was, like, in middle school and early high school, and now I don't know what's going on. City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. What? What? Yeah. So this little lovely, I have read a lot of this. I started getting kind of bummed out near the end. So if you haven't read The Infernal Devices, mild spoilers. No, not mild, pretty big spoilers. I'm gonna put a picture of, uh, I don't know, something. 
in this corner, and once that goes away, spoilers are done, and you can return. But there's gonna there's spoilers for a little bit here. So if you recall, in Clockwork Princess, Will dies, which was just it that that tore me apart so much. I haven't cried like that. I don't think I've ever cried like that since, which is a little bit okay. Yeah, Will Herondale's death just. <laughs> I don't know. I, I could not recover from it. So when all of a sudden Tessa is like about to come back and she's with Jem, I love Jem, but I was, I was team Will. So I was like, but Will's dead. And like, I don't know if I can like see Jem and like Tessa not have Will there. Like I just, I'm getting like goosebumps right now because I feel like I'm going to cry. Like I just didn't think that I could face it. And now I just, it's been years, years and um, I haven't picked it back up, but I really want to know, like, how does Jem stop being Brother Zachariah and, like, what happens with all of that? And then, you know, everything that's happened since with, like, Emma and Julian, that whole storyline, I have no idea what's going on there. And the Shadow Hunter Academy, I've heard that, like, Simon loses his memories in this. I don't know. Just so much stuff happens, and I'm so behind, and I'm... Oh! There, the book's leaving me. It doesn't even want to be around me because it's like, you don't want to read me? Fine, I'm leaving. Can you believe that this isn't over yet and like this is just a handful of the books and I'm ashamed? I haven't read yet. Oh, okay. What the hell was that? <laughs> Lip lick. Oh my god. Next up is November 9th, Colleen Hoover. I don't really know what this is about, but I know everyone lost their mind over it. My mom has, I lent it to her a while ago. She loved it. She's like, you have to read it. And I'm like, I know, but I still haven't. So, yeah. <laughs> Mm, yeah, okay. All right, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the Mediator series by Meg Cabot, but those books were my everything in middle school. Like I read Twilight, fell in love with reading, and read the Mediator series, and I was like, oh my god, I love everything about books. Those books meant a lot to me, still do. And Meg Cabot released a new book in the series like a few years ago, maybe it was just last year. I don't really remember. But it's called Remembrance, and it takes place a few years after the last book of the Mediator series, so there's not much I can say without spoiling people, but the fact that I don't know what's going on with Suze and Jesse and ghosts, I'm like, come on, Katie. I really need to read this because I just love these characters so much. I love Meg Cabot, and I'm so ashamed that I haven't read this. It's killing me. If you haven't read the Meteor series, I would highly recommend it. I think the books are a little bit hard to find now. They might be out of print. I could be completely wrong about that, but they're so good. So if you can find them, read them. It's basically about a girl named Suze who is a mediator. So she is a liaison between the living and the dead. And really ghosts just won't stop messing up her life. And she's, she's like, you know, I'm just trying to be a 16 year old girl. So if all of you dead people could get away, that'd be great. But she helps them and she might be in love with the ghost that's haunting her bedroom, you know, all that stuff. It's just, oh, it's so good. And Jesse, mm, okay. I'm done. <sighs> the next book, another author that I follow on everything, The Wrath of the Dawn, Renee Adier. I want to read this so bad because, like, the myth, legend, the story of Scheherazade is, like, amazing and I think it's great. And the fact that I haven't read this retelling, <laughs> I don't understand. And then, of course, another author that I really follow on everything because her like writing advice is just amazing, but I haven't read any of her books. Again, Susan Denner, Truth Witch. Ha, da, da, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like this is a book that people either like really love or they really don't like. So I kind of have mixed feelings about going into it, but I love Susan Denner just like as a person. So I feel like I need to read her book, right? And also like, I love fantasy and like witches. Okay, yeah. All right, I have a few more books that I'd want to talk about, but this is just getting out of hand. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up with this last one, which is very embarrassing. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. Ah, uh, I have read, I think about half of this and that was months ago and I don't really remember what was going on. And now like this, this is like Harry Potter. Like what, pff, what is the matter with you? I don't know, I really don't know, a lot. A lot. I love it. I've loved what I've read of this and I just need to keep on reading and I don't... Oh uh, boy. Again, I own all the books and I own like the follow-up series. What is that? The Heroes of Olympus? Is that 
Is that the next one with, like, Jason, who, like, no one likes, but, like, Percy's older, so everyone's like, oh my god, Percy. I don't know. I want to see Percy at 17. I'm like, okay, Percy. And I also own, like, Magnus Chase, because, you know, just, yeah. I think it just proves how much of a book buying problem I have. We don't need to talk about that now. This doesn't need to be an intervention. Although, like, it really does. I think I need, I need help, because I can't stop buying books. And I'm in college, so I don't have money, but anyway. Percy Jackson, I need to read. I'm so ashamed, and I don't know when I'm gonna have the time to read it. So, uh, okay. That's where I'm gonna end today's video. I'm like exhausted now, going through all those. And I'm also so stressed out about how many books I need to read. I'm realizing now, wrapping this video up, that I didn't give a summary of every book, which I feel like it's either all or nothing, but... <laughs> I'm, I, I can't, I can't go back and give a summary of every single one. If you haven't noticed, I'm the worst at giving summaries. It just, it's not something that comes easy with me, which is why I'm so excited to query my own book because I have to summarize it in my query and oh no, oh boy, the stress, I'm starting to sweat. Okay, I need to like banish that thought from my mind for a while because I'm still revising. I'm not even near querying yet. I need to leave. I'm just, I'm rambling now. As always, okay. I hope you're all doing lovely. I hope you're having a great day, night, week, what have you. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope. <laughs> Please stick around. Goodbye!